Number 20. Part A. A person's blood pressure is measured to be 120 plus or minus 2 millimeters of mercury. What is its percent uncertainty? Okay, so first let's start with a, a percent uncertainty formula, right? So let's write that down. So percent uncertainty will equal the uncertainty associated with the measurement divided by the measurement itself multiplied by then 100. So we're finding the percent uncertainty, therefore we better know what the uncertainty is. Now remember, the numbers or these values are always written in a certain format, meaning that if I look at this, I can create a generalized format. So they're going to give the number, or the measured number, I should say, plus or minus the uncertainty. Okay, so there's really two parts to this, the measured number and then the uncertainty value. So the two here in this uh, uh, number will represent the uncertainty value. And the 120 will actually represent the measured value. So now we have enough information we need to solve this particular question. So we have 2 over 120, or 120, multiplied by 100. Now, the percent uncertainty, before I calculate that, i got to talk a little bit about sig figs here. It appears that the 120 value only has two significant figures, as written. Why? Because there is no decimal present. But, and this is the weird part, uh, but the number actually does have three. So how do I know that? Well, they told us that the, they gave this to us. They said that it's 120 plus or minus two. So what that means is that either the upper limit of the, or the, the upper limit of the range is the uh, 124, or the lower limit of the range would then be 116. But wait a minute, if this number had two sig figs, now my answers have three here. How is that possible? Well, it's not possible. So basically, it, this is sloppy. There needs to be a decimal here in order for this all to make sense. Okay, so it's not written in, but there should be a decimal there, and there should be a decimal here. Okay, now once I calculate this uh, percent uncertainty, now what I do is I take 2 and divide it by the 120, multiply that by then 100, and I get an answer of about 1.6 repeating, right? So it comes out to about 1.667. But now recall, uh, this number has the least number of sig figs, right? This number has only one sig fig. The number in the denominator has two. Ooh, doesn't have two, I added the decimal now, it has three. So therefore my answer should only have one. So 1.667, we would have to round to a value of 2%. Okay, so that's the percent uncertainty for letter A. Let's move on now to letter B. So it says, assuming the same percent uncertainty, what is the uncertainty in a blood pressure measurement of 80 millimeters of mercury? Okay, so let me just label this as part A. Let me change the color now. I'm going to do part B. Okay, so we'll write the formula out again. So the percent, percent uncertainty is equal to the uncertainty associated with the measurement divided by the measurement itself multiplied by 100. So it says to assume, this, uh, assume the same percent uncertainty. So my 2% value calculated in part A will be plugged into the percent uncertainty for part B. So I have 2%. Okay, great. Now it wants us to find, it says, what is the uncertainty? So we're looking for the numerator value. So I'll just label that as my X. And the measured value uh, was 80, right, millimeters of mercury. So the 80 goes on the bottom. Again, I have to assume that this measured number does have two significant figures, so I'm going to place in the decimal there. So multiply this by 100. Okay, uh, so let's go about the math now. First, I'm going to take 100 and divide it by 80. Okay, so we, it comes out to be 2% is equal to uh, 1.25, right? And I'm going to 1.25x, divide out the 1.25. So now x works out to be, 2 divided by that answer, it works out to be about 1.6, 1.6. Now, the 
this cannot, this will not be the final answer. Okay, this is the mathematically correct answer. However, um, I have to consider significant figures. And when I look back to my original calculation here, this number has two sig, uh, excuse me, has one sig fig. This number has two sig figs. And then the hundred value, that's a, that, it doesn't have a decimal there, but it, it should again. Um, this is just a conversion between percents and uh, decimals. So this will be an exact value and it'll have three. So therefore my answer should have only one because that's the least number. So when I calculate the value of 1.6, I would have to round that now. And I round it to two so that we do have indeed one significant figure. So this would be the uncertainty uh, associated with that blood pressure uh, reading of 80 millimeters of mercury. Notice how it's uh, the same value actually as the, as the uh, uncertainty in part A. And the reason why uh, does have to deal with significant figures. All right, thank you guys very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time.